modern technologies of diagnosis and treatment of living cells, battery capacity and cells capability in energy distribution inside the cell. Almost all activities of a cell and its organs are performed by humans' bioelectricity current. Bioelectricity is produced by the centers of the bioelectric energy of the cells, mitochondria in most of the cells. The bioelectric energy centers permanently provide the energy needed for cellular activities, helping the cells perform their general and specific activities without any problems. If the cells are exposed to destructive internal and external factors, the centers immediately take defensive steps and in case of exhaustion and destruction, they reconstruct and repair them. Automatic control system of the cell also monitors activities and prevents any disorder in cellular activities. If destruction and exhaustion are great and continuous, the cells will use too much energy to fight them and carry out their regular activities. Gradually, the process causes a shortage in the intracellular energy equilibrium. Greater pressure will be heaped on the cellular energy centers to compensate for the shortage and therefore the extra activity will cause more exhaustion, more reduction in energy production and severe shortage in energy equilibrium. If this negative trend continues, the fundamental intercellular activities will be disrupted and the important and fundamental radio communication of the cells will be interrupted with the commanding headquarters, hypothalamus in the living organism, and even it may be disconnected. For this reason, when energy equilibrium shortage approaches the cellular threshold, the cell division command is issued. Cell division command is accomplished in two forms intracellular and extracellular. In intracellular form, when the bioelectricity energy equilibrium shortage in the cell gets the red line or irreparable damages are inflicted on the cell if the main bases of the cell are healthy, the automatic control system will issue the division command in the cell. In extracellular form, when the cell needs to divide due to individual performance of the cell or collective performance organization of the cell, the central command system of the living being activates a special bioelectromagnetic command and then the operations of the cell division are activated. Thus, the new cell begins to develop and it will face the fate of its preceding cell and will be forced to divide. This process repeats and reaches hundreds of cell divisions. Then the capability to divide will diminish and the aging process will start. The bioelectric energy distribution in the cell is one of the great wonders of creation. We have already explained that all activities of a cell and its organs are accomplished by the cellular bioelectricity energy. The important point is how thousands of independent units in a cell simultaneously receive their necessary energy without any direct contact from the cellular energy centers. It is surprising and hard to believe that receiving energy is done in a very short time in some cases. The cellular bioelectricity energy centers store the generated energy in the molecules that have bioelectromagnetic induction properties. All the cellular energy consumption centers have the energy recipient molecules that work with the help of bioelectromagnetic inducing characteristics. When these centers need energy, they connect to the energy producers in the cell and receive their necessary energy. To have a better understanding of the process, you have to imagine two coils. If electricity flows in the first coil, the electricity will be induced in the second coil that is placed in the electromagnetic field of the first coil. Before the intracellular organelles need energy, both the energy transmitter and receiver are inactive and no energy is consumed. 
Immediately after the consumer centers feel the need for energy, the receiver and transmitter make a connection with each other and energy flows. If one's bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic energy is induced to the molecules of energy production centers in a cell, they will be strengthened and fill their energy capacity. If it is done successfully, the exhaustion of the cell and its division, and finally the aging process, will end. Cell battery or energy production centers play a key role in cellular activities. The weakness of cellular batteries also plays a key role in general disorders of the cell. One of the main features of the energy storing molecules is their bioelectromagnetic infusion quality. This property has advantages and disadvantages. One of its advantages is receiving energy. One of the main disadvantages of the property is that if it is exposed to the bioelectromagnetic absorption factors of human bioelectricity, it will lose energy. For example, if it is put near another living being that suffers from severe energy deficiency, it will lose energy. The closer the length and shape of wave of cellular frequencies of the two living beings, the easier the energy transfers. It seems the non-living energy discharging factors play a role in draining the energy of human cells. The more these factors are integrated with natural bioelectromagnetic system of cellular energy centers, the more the energy will be exchanged. All of us have experienced the storage and release of energy in our lives. In some places and with some people, we feel quite energetic and more brisk and under specific conditions, an opposite case occurs. Energy distribution disorders appear regularly as follows. A. Disorders of relations. In these cases, the molecules receiving and giving energy fail to establish partial or complete relations. B. Disarrays in transmission. In these cases, the energy production center fails to transfer the energy partially or completely after establishing relations. C. Disruptions in reception. In these cases, energy reception centers lose the ability to getting energy partially or completely after establishing relations. It seems the main reason of the above-mentioned disorders is bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic inequities of anode and cathode sections of the receptor and donor molecules. The weakness of cellular battery and energy distribution disruptions in the cell not only play fundamental roles in cellular aging, but also play the leading role in 5% of the living being's diseases.